Are we ready to rock and roll? Yes. Okay, well, we're uh, going to do the uh, compressor wash uh, on this uh, PT6, and it's required for compressor uh, efficiency. And like we were talking about, you have an axial compressor and a centrifugal compressor in what's called the cold section of, of the engine. So to keep our efficiency of the compressor, we're going to do what's called, obviously, a, a compressor wash. We're going to use that Turco at 6 to 1 and uh, we'll mix it up in the container. But the first thing we want to do is make sure that our, our wand is clear. The attach point uh, is right here on the airplane and it rides around with the airplane. And uh, Lou is going to go through to the, through the rain. And all we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of water in there. We'll pressurize our container and make sure that uh, everything is free and the holes, the outlet holes, uh, aren't clogged up. And then we'll shut it off and then we'll mix up our turco and the We'll do that. So, so you should be getting like even pressure all the way all around. Holes. Yeah. If you if you look up in here, you might want to grab the camera, and so people can see. And, and just inside of the engine, okay. you see that wash ring all the way around it. Yeah, they call it a deluge ring all the way around. You know, so people can see what uh, what we're doing here. Okay. And then go ahead and take this hose and uh, just uh, gently hook that up there. I'll put a little bit of water inside of the. Uh, Pot here, and like we were talking about, Pratt and Whitney says if you can drink it, you can put it in the engine. But we're going to use distilled water, so we don't get any water minerals and that kind of thing into the into the engine. Right. So we'll put about a half a gallon in there, and then we'll be cool. Yeah, and then this uh, is going to plug in there. You got that tight? Yeah, it's finger tight. Okay. This uh, pressure pot here, it's uh, uh, made for this job specifically, stainless steel, it's got a good, it's got a good o-ring that seals it. And when, you, when you do this, you want to keep, uh, make sure that your o-ring seal is in good shape. I lubricated it here a little bit. So that's going to seal up in here and, and look, how it, look how it's built. Mm -hmm. Pressure is going to, you know, pushes it out. And you lock it, you lock it in there. Make sure it's even all the way around. We're good. Okay. And we'll take our uh, our 90 psi, and uh, I'm not sure what it's regulated down right now. Let me check. Okay, so we're good. So we're going to pressurize it. Yep. And then here's our operating handle that goes uh, about 30, 38 psi. Probably going to drop when. Uh, Get the load off. Mm -hmm. uh, now, do you want to uh, you want to put the camera up here? There you go. And all we're going to do, we're just looking for we're just looking for even flow all the way around our wash ring. Here we go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And that's all we need to see right there. Okay. 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 So we're good here, and uh, you know, as soon as uh, it starts uh, turning, mm -hmm. you know, after about five seconds, just open your valve. And uh, then um, after about 20, 25 seconds, we'll just do that and we'll shut it off. So watch you. Yep, watch me. Okay. Oh, this is fresh water wind friends. Okay. The second one, yeah. They're probably. Okay. Yep.
this is the P3 line heater. Okay. Oh, and, a heater, huh? Yeah. And what, what this does, it, it prevents at high altitude, of course you have a little moisture in the air, and what will happen is you'll get, you'll get crystallization in this, in this line. So what they do is they attach, see the electrical lead right here? See uh -huh. that? An electrical lead? Right. Okay. Well, it's just a toaster heater is what it is. <laughs> and it heats this line up. Yeah. And that prevents uh, crystallization from, from going forward in the rest of your, your uh, right. torque limiter and your uh, prop filler. That's called DY heater. One of the items you check on on the annual. I see. It's got a circuit breaker inside. Pilot can pull it. I have the circuit breaker pulled right now because this will get very very hot. Really? And I've and I've tested it. Is that wrapped? Then? It is hooking. Uh, is, uh, it, is it straight wire? No, I, I think it's wrapped. I, it's I really wrapped. don't know how they build them, yeah. but obviously impregnated and, and good good yeah. rubber, you know. Yeah. And uh, that's the uh, purpose of that. Mm -hmm. This is the trim stick. Uh, yeah, this is the trim stick. And what this does is put a resistance into your uh, turbine inlet temperature ring that's hooked on here. Every engine runs a different temperature. Mm -hmm. So to provide commonality between uh, all of the different engines of the same model for the pilots, they change the resistance, resistance of this of this trim stick. So it's sh shorter or longer. Yeah, say if you're you know running at 1,600 foot pound of torque, you're going to have a certain ITT, a temperature, and the factory doesn't want them uh, running at all different kind of temperature. Even though they do, right. uh, you'll have different resistances in these trim sticks. Yeah. That uh, after you know the, the uh, uh, you do your, your heat, power everything up and everything, and then it'll. Uh, make it seem like all the engines are running the same temperature when they're really not. When they're really not, yeah.